After successfully completing this lesson, you will have acquired the basic theoretical knowledge and skills needed to confidently perch the cofferdam on a Framo pump. To gain maximum benefit from this lesson, you should successfully have completed the previous lesson. This lesson gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to purge the cofferdam of a pump. The practical section consists of two parts. First, there is a demonstration of the procedure. This is followed by an interactive, guided walkthrough of the same procedure. Purging the coffer dam at regular intervals is an important precaution against malfunctions and unexpected shutdowns. This procedure helps you detect any leakages through the cargo or hydraulic oil seals. You can monitor the condition of the shaft seal system and plan the maintenance of the pump on the basis of results observed. You will now see a demonstration of the coffer damp purging procedure. Click on the place a suitable container underneath the exhaust trap vent line to collect any leakage. Check that the drain valve and the bottom of the exhaust trap are not clogged with residue after the last purging operation. Ensure that the drain valve is closed. Check that the relief valve on the hydraulic control valve is open. Connect the air or nitrogen supply hose to the snap-on coupling on the purging connection. Remember to drain the supply hose of any condensed water before connecting it to the snap-on coupling. Open the valve on the air or nitrogen supply line. Check that there is air or nitrogen coming out of the exhaust trap vent line. The relief valve is set to an opening pressure of 3 to 3.5 bar, so a small air or gas leakage here is normal. To stop purging, close the valve on the air or nitrogen supply line. Move the container underneath the exhaust trap drain valve. Disconnect air or nitrogen supply. Close the exhaust trap drain valve. Measure the amount of leakage. Evaluate and log the purging result. This completes the demonstration of the coffer dam purging procedure. In order to maintain a complete understanding of the condition of a pump coffer dam, both purging procedures and systematic assessment of results are required. As a general rule, the coffer dam should be purged as shown in this table. Note, neglecting purging can result in a blocked coffer dam. The purging form should be filled in with the results from every purging operation. Each horizontal line in the form represents one cargo in one tank, from loading through to discharging. If a ship loads and discharges some tanks more frequently than others, an extra form should be filled in for these tanks. Completed purging form to be sent to the ship owner and to Framo. The green copy is for the ship, the red copy for the ship owner, and the white copy for Framo. Results can also be sent to Framo in electronic format at purging at framo.no. The ship staff has the primary responsibility for purging and any subsequent action necessary. In case the ship staff need further information or advice, contact Framo. Cargo in the coffer dam can come from the shaft seals, flange face seals in the pipe stack or pump unit, or damage, such as cracks on the pipe stack, pump unit or coffer dam pipe. A small leakage rate over the shaft seals up to about 0.5 litres per day during pump operation is normal, and replacement of seals should not be necessary with this leakage rate. For short periods of time, higher leakage peaks can occur. The leakage rate also depends on the type of cargo. Some cargoes, like naphtha, condensate, etc., penetrate the shaft seals more easily than lube oils, vegetable oils, and other viscous cargoes. If the leakage rate is up to about 2 litres per day, the pump must be purged a couple of times daily and inspected slash pressure tested as soon as possible to find the reason for the leakage. Intensify the purging if the leakage rate is increasing above acceptable level. If this is not keeping the leakage under control, do not operate the pump. Use the portable pump to discharge the cargo. The development of a cargo leakage can be followed if purging is done according to specified intervals. Maintenance work can be planned accordingly, and unexpected shutdown due to leakage can be avoided. Hydraulic oil in the coffer dam can come from the mechanical seal, flange face seals in the pipe stack or pump unit, 
or damage, such as cracks on the pipe stack or pump unit. A small leakage rate into the coffer dam, up to about 10 millilitres per hour, or 0.25 litres per day, from the mechanical oil seal or lip seal during pump operation is normal. For short periods of time, higher leakage peaks can occur. If the leakage rate is increasing above acceptable level, the pump must be purged a couple of times daily and inspected slash pressure tested as soon as possible to find the reason for the leakage. Intensify the purging if the leakage rate is increasing above acceptable level. If this is not keeping the leakage under control, do not operate the pump. Use the portable pump to discharge the cargo.